Hi, my name is Steven and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking to you about the five things I'm looking forward to doing in 2022. So just like last year's video, these are the things that I'm most looking forward to doing in 2022. So if you've seen my previous video on the things I wanted to do in 2021, you'll know that I had some lofty goals and that I missed a lot of it. So for 2022, the things that I'm most looking forward to are going to be modified a little bit based on the current situation. So check out my previous video if you're interested in the things that I was going to do in 2021. So this year, I'm going to have more realistic expectations for my 2022 than I had last year. And I'm really hoping that I get to do these things and have fun while I'm at it. So in today's video, I'm going to talk about what I look forward to in 2022 and my general thoughts. And before we start, be sure to like, subscribe, comment, hit that notification bell, share with your friends if you like this content. And here we go. So last year, at the beginning of the year, I had lots of grand ideas for what 2021 was going to look like for me. But unfortunately, some of these things just didn't end up happening. So I have to revise my expectations going into this year. So my current list is more focused on things that don't require any advanced notification and things that I can do long term in around my house. So with that in mind, a lot of the things that I have planned for this year requires very little advanced notice and also less people involved as well. So here are five things that I'm most looking forward to in 2022. Number one, taking more domestic trips. It's fairly certain that my wife and I are going to take more domestic trips this year than last year. Because of the current restrictions on international travel, it's just not feasible for us to plan multiple international trips this year. And I also believe that there's a bunch of places in the United States that we have not seen yet and we're curious to see. We'll probably take more vacations in small, off-beaten path places rather than large cities. Because even though we love our big cities, there are just some places that are so unique that we have to go see. Perhaps some of the more remote destinations in the northeast of the United States. We'll probably be focused more on national parks and the food in the local areas. And really try to get away from the hustle and bustle of the daily grind of city life. If things do change and international travel opens up, we'll definitely be the first ones out there. Because we absolutely miss international travel and we can't wait to go back and explore the rest of the world. Number two, cooking with purpose. One of the best things that happened to me over the last two years working from home is cooking. Because working from home allowed me to create my own dishes for lunch and dinner, resulting in less money for fast food. It allowed me to expand my talent of cooking and also increase the number of recipes that I know. And I was able to make difficult and challenging recipes that I never thought I would. And in addition, I was able to upgrade my cooking ware. So now I'm able to make a lot of different dishes with variety of tools. And not only things that were relegated to the stovetop only. So for example, I got a carbon steel pan, an Instapot, and an air fryer. And this year, I've also created a new goal to try to make new dishes two to three times a month. And really try to incorporate that into my daily diet, so I'm trying something new all the time. This means more air frying, baking, and hot pot. And really shy away from the meals that I made when I was in college. Consisting of pastoroni, ramen, and fried rice. Though there's nothing wrong with those meals, because they're absolutely delicious when made correctly. So really my goals for this year is to expand my repertoire of cooking knowledge and allow me to make more meals quickly and also improvise them as I go along. Number three, learning new skills. Each year, especially last year, I was able to pick up a whole bunch of new skills and I really want to continue that trend throughout 2022. For me, 2021 was all about creating my YouTube channel and all the knowledge and skill sets that that brings. It was certainly difficult in the beginning, but once I got that ball rolling, it was easier and easier to make YouTube videos. So part of my new skill set is I want to create better and better videos for you guys and also level up and increase my skill sets in business and finance and also other skills that might not come to me right now, but maybe during the middle of the year. Really, the reason why I'm able to pick up these skills is because all the time that working from home has afforded me. I would pocket that time that I would otherwise spend in traffic on things that are really useful to me. And also, I banked a lot of time due to the lack of activities and events happening around us right now. Although I really miss those activities, I try my best not to think about it and actively use that time for something to benefit me. So ultimately, I would use that time saved and funnel it into learning new skills and leveling up old existing skills. Number four, reconnecting with people. Over the last two years, it's been really hard to meet new people and keep up with old acquaintances. We all sort of retreated into our introverted shells, including myself. So when things start to get back to normal, I want to try to reach out the best as I can to reconnect with people. Because I know it's pretty difficult in general to keep up with people that you haven't talked to in a long time. And doubly so when they're not in the same time zone or area as you. So for myself, I've been more introverted in the past year than I would like to. And so hopefully in 2022, I'll try to break out of that. And I think ultimately what matters during hard times is the friendships and bonds that we create with others. 
because the bonds that we forge, nurture, and keep are the ones that will keep us going when the times are rough. And without them, life's challenges are that much harder to endure. And number five, reading and listening to more fiction. At the end of 2021, I started reading a lot of science fiction books that I hadn't done in a long time. And it helped me to recapture the imagination and excitement I had when I read fiction books in the past. For good books and series, I recommend any of Andy Weir's books and also the Expanse series. In the past, reading books for me was a great way to relax and unwind from the day. But during the pandemic, I found that I wasn't able to relax into a good book. I thought that with the extra time staying home, I would be able to read books like crazy and enjoy them all and kind of forget about the world. But when I started to read those fiction books, I felt that I couldn't relax enough to enjoy the content. And I really struggled to concentrate on the books that I was reading while everything else was going bad around the world. Now that things are on the path of becoming more normal, I'm able to relax more into a good book. And for 2022, I'm definitely looking forward to digesting as many fiction books as I possibly can. And digesting them in any kind of format, physical books, ebooks, or audiobooks. So now let's talk about some of my general thoughts of 2021 and 2022. It was certainly a drastic difference between what I expected and what actually occurred in 2021. I really hope that things return to normal by middle of 2021, but that just didn't happen. I certainly think that going forward, I'm tempering my expectations of what 2022 will be because we certainly don't know what 2022 is going to bring. And I certainly don't want to plan crazy adventures if we weren't going to do it anyways. I don't want to be disappointed by that. Last year's goals was about returning to normal and going out all the time. But this year's goal is going to be more about introspection and personal growth. So I really hope that you enjoyed what I'm looking forward to most in 2022. As the pandemic gets normalized, I have to be more aware what is the new normal for us. And that's really going to influence what I'm looking forward to and what I plan for the future. Because it isn't going to look like what we had back in 2019. So I can't plan my future as if we were going back in time. So part of my own personal journey is to accept what 2022 is going to be and try to move forward and be okay with that. Like all of us, I'm exhausted of the situation and I wish I could make it better, but we have to try to reframe the situation and try to be optimistic as much as possible because we could still look forward to a great 2022. We just have to do things differently that will meet our expectations of it. So thank you for watching. Please leave a comment down below on what you're most looking forward to in 2022 and I'll see you next time.